This experiment is to determine the Young's modulus for a metal wire. The setup that I am using is a copper wire wrapped around this wooden box up this end. The other end draped over the pulley there. I've got a loop from which I can apply a load. There's a marker along the wire here, stuck. it's a label which is stuck onto the wire. And I'll be tracking the edge of that label on the wire. I've got a metre rule plus a half metre rule so that I can measure the original length of the wire. The micrometer for measuring the diameter of the wire. Some masses for a load and a travelling microscope to measure the extension of the wire. The travelling microscope has a vernier scale, so that will measure to the nearest tenth of a millimetre. Right, let's uh, start taking some measurements. First thing, before I apply any load, I'll measure the, my the diameter with the micrometer in a couple of places. So first thing here, so that is 0.28 millimetres, so I'll record that. And then up here, that is also 0.28 millimetres. That's my original length. That's right, that's my diameter. I've taken two, so I'll average them. The original length, in order to do this, I'll pull the wire just gently so that it's straight across the straight across the pulley and the wooden blocks and then looking down on the point where, from where I'll be measuring that is 1.392 metres 1.392 metres those are my initial measurements taken. Now I'm going to start applying the load. In order to do this safely, there's a few safety features of the experiment. Just finish writing those down. Okay, firstly, uh, the safety specs are here. So I'll be wearing safety, pet, safety specs to protect my eyes. Then I have these flaps of paper which I'll place over the wire so that if the wire snaps they'll catch it and prevent it travelling too far one over this end as well hopefully not interfering with my measurements and this box will catch the masses if the wire should snap ok so to take measurements of the travelling microscope there's a, the, I've already said there's a very scale on the microscope body itself and Inside the microscope, there's a crosshair, so I'll line the crosshair up with the edge of the marker. And that'll be my starting position. I'm just holding it uh, so that the wire is taut again. And I'm lining, trying to line this crosshair up with where it will be, right at the edge. So if I, I've got this, so here's the label, and I'll be mark, I'll be tracking this position on the wire. That's where my microscope is focused. What I might do, in fact, is I won't be using 100 grams since I to take the measurement. And 100 gram won't really extend the wire, so we'll just keep it. Tight. We'll just keep it. I'll just move the pulley. Just so um, I haven't got it waving around whilst I'm trying to hold it steady. Okay, so I'm now looking at the edge of the label and I'm starting at 29.0 millimetres on this further scale. I'm going to note, note the location for each of the mass, masses that I'll apply the loads because it's, that's actually counting down, so then I'll work out the extension from that. So we'll start at 200. I'll put another load on here. And 
now I move the, the position of the crosshair again so that it points at the edge of that label. That is at Seven. The last one, seven hundred grams. Okay. Twenty-seven point three. Okay, so I'll take the load off and then. Note the extension, work out the extension of each of these. 4 and 0.4. I need to work out the cumulative total in each case. <coughs> so 0.1, then 0.2 plus 0.1, that's 0.3. 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.3, and 1.7. That's my extension. From that, plotted a graph, and then I can, from the gradient, work out the Young modulus. This is a stress versus strain graph there. So there we go. That's how the experiment is conducted.